Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today, no stranger to the channel, Jeff Schwartz of Schwartz Performance. And we're going to show you what a Schwartz Performance frame does versus a normal car frame. And I think you'll see why these cars are well track worthy and ready. And uh, Jeff, share with them today, what do we have on this car? Well, today we've got a uh, 70 Chevelle convertible and it has a 900 horsepower Shafroff built 598 cubic inch big block Chevy, of course with fuel injection and the G machine chassis as mentioned. And uh, it's got every bit that you could possibly do to a shell, uh, a Chevelle from a billet dashboard to titanium fasteners on every point in the car. Carbon fiber, you have to see this to believe it. So obviously it looks well just like a Chevelle, like you'd expect. But as you can see with the colors of this one, this bee will sting you. So let's start off right off the bat. As you come up to the trunk, you see what looks like a carbon fiber weave. Well, that's because as we open the trunk, it's carbon fiber. So not only do you have 900 horsepower, and look at the beauty this total car is. This is a show car as far as, I mean, this is a driver, don't get me wrong, and we're going to take you for a ride in it, and you'll just be amazed at what you can do with technology, but I mean, just looks like the Chevelle stripes, just like you'd expect, and carbon fiber in there. Oh, very nice. I like that. Very cool. You can see the exhaust tips and we'll start this for you, give you a little bit of that music. Obviously it's an SS. Let's take a look at this one from the side. So Jeff, when your customer says to you he wants to build something like this, and this was a he customer, um, sometimes you have she customers, what do you think? I mean this car is about as top-notch as a Schwartz build goes. Would you agree? Uh, yes. Um, typically we try to meet whatever the customer wants and in this case uh, he knew pretty much exactly what he wanted so um, you know we just rolled with it. So sh share with me some of the, I mean just there's the little tricks like this. How do you get the 598 badge? You have one custom made for you. Okay so the, everything you Notice can... there's uh, only one lug nut on the wheel. Those are center locking lug nuts with a pin drive behind it. That, what you would see on a road, road race car like say at the Daytona 24 hour race. The carbon mirrors, the wonderful convertible top. Yes, of course, the carbon hood. Let me show you, let me step back for just a moment. And let you just take that in for a minute. <laughs> uh, just amazing. Just amazing. All right, let's uh, open the uh, the hood on this. We will get to the interior, but holy cow! Those are some pipes. You can see the Schwartz Performance chassis. I like this little touch here. The Vintag still intact. Notice you have a lot less wires on that firewall. Upgraded braking system. Carbon fiber valve cover caps. This is just totally tricked out. This one has no chance at all of being a sleeper because, uh, and even the venting in the back for the cowl induction, because when you hear this thing next to you, and you were sharing, this thing doesn't even idle in, functionally until about 2300 RPM. When you're going down the highway, you need to keep it around 22 to 2500 RPM to, for everything to smooth out. It's got so much overlap in the camshaft, it doesn't really like to go below that. It will idle at a thousand RPM, but uh, but it jumps. And when you start driving it, you got to keep it up a little bit. So it doesn't jump all over the place. All right, let's take a look. I mean, look at the suspension, 
Let me just give you a moment to kind of take all this in. What is this right here? Uh, that's a remote reservoir for the uh, left front shock. We've got okay. remote reservoirs on all the shocks. Got it. Uh, these are what they call triple adjustable ride tech shocks, and you can adjust high speed compression, low speed compression, and rebound damping, all from the knob on the side of that reservoir. Okay, let's go to the interior of this one. Now, this one, first of all, even let me look, share with you the handle, custom handle. We're going to open this up. The door is steel, but you have this custom. First of all, let me start with that unbelievable dashboard. Jeff, share with me how you, what this started like and how it is now that we're looking at it. Well, it was a rectangular chunk of aluminum, a couple of hundred pounds, and it was CNC machined uh, three-dimensionally to create uh, the instrument bezel. The factory piece is just a piece of plastic, and when, you know, you get an engine that's got a lot of, you know, I guess uh, vibration and camshaft and stuff, things shake around, so this billet piece, the instruments are in there rock solid, they don't move around, and then of course we've wrapped the dash pad in leather. Dashes done in leather. The custom steering wheel for the legs. Look at the pedals. <laughs> Tell me what the red button for here on the shifter. That's a line lock for doing burnouts. Line lock for burnouts. Six speed Tremec. And this is your, I'll call it your Windows control panel because you'll see there's no <coughs> up and down switches. There's no handles there, although there's the handle to get out of the car, and your stereo system, which you saw. Let me just go this way and show you that carbon fiber seat. The back seat, the stitching, your top. So when the top's down, you see this beautiful roll bar which obviously adds rigidity. Even the little vents here in the uh, door jam are billet. That's a billet piece there. That's amazing. If you want to see a Schwartz performance uh, discussion, you can go in the description and uh, sit back. Notice the five-point harness here. Go in the description of this video and give Jeff a call if you've got a car that you need to look like this. You get, as my hand is across it, you can hear the, the leather. So it smells great in here. All right, Jeff, um, let's open the hood one more time. I'm gonna have you get in it. <laughs> and just for grins, we'll let people listen to it idle, and then we'll give them a rev or two. All right. Let me, when you jump in, I want to ask you one question. So when you get to the point, because this car is just about ready for delivery, what is your feeling as being the owner, knowing your team produces this? I mean, what, what, what does that make you feel like? Well, it, uh, we do this every day, so you kind of sometimes take it for granted. But uh, when I take a moment and sit back, I'm, I'm really proud of the stuff that our crew puts together here. And... Uh, you know, I'm glad that we're able to fulfill the customer's dreams. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. You're a dream maker. Listen to this. been talking about Schwartz performance frames and I wanted to show you a few before the car is on it. This frame is actually the frame for a unibody car. Now a unibody car 
is just what it sounds like. And every Schwartz Performance frame gets a little serial number tag so they can keep track of it with the car. So on a unibody, once you put this underneath that car and bolt it to it, along with the suspension parts, as you can see in the, in the braking system, this thing's going to run like a track car. And I'll give you an example on this Woody that's up here that's being built. This is a regular frame car. Look at the thickness of this frame. And this frame will come off, become powder coated. They're fabricating it to the car right now. Let me give you a shot this way. I'll let you take that in. And this is why people come from all over the country or the world to get your frame here because this Woody is going to run like no other Woody you've ever seen before because once this thing gets completed it'll run like a track car. So let me give you one more shot of that frame. And there you go. Let's go back to the show. Sorry, I'm screaming at you now because you needed to. Let's uh, let's take it for a little ride. Okay, great. All right, so I've got Jeff, and we're driving the Chevelle with these 598 cubic inches. We'll call it 600 just for grins. And you were sharing that this cam is, well, a little too radical. Yeah, an engine this radical um, is not that pleasant on the street. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if you want something totally badass that makes women and children run and hide when it comes on the road. I guess this does, fits the bill. So let's just show this unique dashboard. You were sharing that this is all one piece of aluminum at one point. Yeah, the, the uh, instrument bezel was carved out of a, a chunk of billet. I think it was like 200 pounds. And uh, it's all three-dimensionally machined. And that mounts the gauges inside. And you were sharing that this one in particular um, has to idle at about 2300 just to be normal so well when you're when you're driving you need to keep it above 2500 Thanks so much for being on the channel. My pleasure, Lou.